Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Wow, I don't know if I'm the last one or not, but I'm still nervous, so bear with me. Um, as Tim said, my name is Mandisa Thomas, and I am the founder and president of Black Nonbelievers, which was started three years ago in 2011. I'm here, standing here today, not as an expert, or accredited expert, but as a wife, mother, career person, atheist, nonbeliever, skeptic, who cares about the progression of, of mankind, especially the issues that we face in our community. And we have a problem. The black community does rely heavily on dogma, superstition, and religion. More than likely, a lot in this particular, and spend a lot of time in this institution right here called the church. Now, there is a historical component as to why so many blacks are religious and spend most of their time in the church and also hold people like this in such high regard when they don't have any accreditation and they also promote a they, they also promote a mindset of servitude and also just giving all of their resources to the church. Now it did start with being enslaved in this country where Christianity was imposed upon blacks. It was illegal to teach slaves to read and write. So of course there was no basis in education, only in belief and to suffer in this life in hopes of an afterlife. And there is a mistrust of science and the government, rightfully so, because of uh, the concept of eugenics, which does uh, paint a picture of blacks being criminal and not perfect. The idea is to create the master race, as well as the Tuskegee study that took place in Alabama over a period of 40 years at the expense of poor, un un uneducated black men who did not know what they were getting into, and as a result, died of untreated syphilis. Now, as a result, and talking about education, our current, these are statistics for college readiness for Americans in general. And the statistics for blacks are significantly lower than that. And we also make up quite a bit of the prison population, some for reasons that were given in a previous presentation as mistaken identity and as a result of systematic injustice. But guess what? If anyone is exonerated or if blacks are exonerated, they're more than likely to give their credit to God and not the people who help them because they spend a lot of time in this institution, which reinforces uh, against submission, uh, fear, and, uh, and, and the people and putting stock into these people who have no accreditation and reinforce this idea of servitude instead of progression and critical thinking and logical reasoning. So now, and the idea of letting go and letting God, praying our problems away instead of implementing and taking stock in practical solutions is unfortunately so prevalent that, and unfortunately it is not, it is not um, conceivable that there are blacks who are atheists and who are ag agnostics or skeptics. So now it is time for us to um, help change the face of diversity, uh, of skepticism and show its diversity. Um, there are, let's, let's um, educate each other and educate ourselves on black humanists, atheists, agnostics, and skeptics. The information is there, it is up to us to show it. And also, it is also up to us, all of us, to show that there have been blacks throughout history that have challenged religion and also one famous Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Let's, let's spread the knowledge about historical scientists like doctor, and doctors like Dr. Daniel Hill Williams, Dr. Charles Drew. Um, Dr. Williams performed the first open heart surgery. Dr. Charles Drew invented blood plasma. And so um, not probably by accident, not by design, most of the people that we feature in the skeptic community are white males. And this needs to change. It needs to start with all of us. We can help promote uh, science and critical thinking in communities that are at a disadvantage, particularly communities of color. We are out here, and, but it is important for us, for all of us to work together to show that we, we do exist and that many of us do care about our communities, our respective communities, as well as bringing more of us into the, the secular community and promoting uh, secular ideals. 
And we can do this through certain projects that I know that at Black Nonbelievers we are implementing, but we will need your help with that. We really want to go off and, and get, get the ground running with practical solutions and also increasing our presence. And for that, we will need your help. So I ask you, will you help us? Thank you.